Hello everybody and welcome once again to the Man CV channel with your host, that's me, the Man CV. Lots of content to get to today, so let's get started. Number one on the list of top topics to talk about today, top topics to talk about, say that ten times fast, is of course, yes, Tony Romo. Romo announcing earlier today that he is officially retiring from the sport of football and will now be going into broadcasting. So, what does this mean for the Dallas Cowboys? More so, what does this mean for the future of the Dallas Cowboys? To really address this question fully, I think you have to look at two factors. Number one, Tony Romo's age, and number two, last season. Romo is getting up there in age in terms of the sports world, and over time has become more and more somewhat injury prone. Which then leads me to my next point in considering last season where he spent the majority, if not all of that season, on the sideline. And that is, of course, when the Dallas Cowboys fans got introduced to the newly drafted rookie, Dak Prescott. And people were like, okay, yeah, let's give the rookie a shot. Tony Romo will get healthy again and he'll come back soon enough. And then they started winning. And winning. And winning some more. And they couldn't be stopped. Nobody could beat him. And then everybody was like, hey, wait a minute. This guy's really good. Maybe we should just leave him in there. And so I think the introduction of Dak Prescott to the Dallas Cowboys football club sort of signified the beginning of the end of Tony Romo's career. At least in terms of the Dallas Cowboys, because that's when, of course, all the trade talks started, you know, who needs Tony Romo the most? Who would benefit the most from having a quarterback like Tony Romo with his caliber and his expertise? However, I definitely didn't see retirement coming, and I'm sure most football fans, and especially Dallas Cowboys fans, are just as surprised. So, with that in mind, moving on to my next topic for the day, the beginning of the 2017 Formula One racing season. Race number one in Melbourne, Australia, was held a couple weeks ago, and there are many interesting ideas to take away from this first race, looking forward. However, before we do so, we first have to look back at the final race of the 2016 season in Dubai. The Mercedes-AMG Patronus team, led by Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton, had led the field almost all season. Their closest competitor, Scuderia Ferrari, led by Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen, had also been struggling to keep pace. Until out of the blue, somehow Scuderia Ferrari managed to place second at Dubai. I believe that is when the tables started to turn for Scuderia Ferrari, because the winner of the Australian GP, Sebastian Vettel and Scuderia Ferrari. And so now, looking forward towards China, and two weeks from now, Bahrain, I believe we'll start to see even more competition between Scuderia Ferrari and Mercedes-AMG. I may even take that a step further and say that I think Mercedes-AMG will soon be trying to keep pace with Scuderia Ferrari. As for my final topic of the day, and probably the one that is most obvious, yes, opening day 2017. It is finally here. A new season has begun, which means everybody gets a clean slate. Put behind you what happened last season and move on to this season. Double check your rosters, because chances are your favorite team probably looks similar, but a little bit different from last season. Your team may even have a new stadium, and or added recent renovations and amenities. As for playoff predictions, I have none, because we're only one game in. Anybody that tries to predict the playoffs one or two games in is either a crazy person or a lunatic. My advice, don't pay any attention to them. And with that, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Drop me a comment in the comment section with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe.